President William Ruto and his deputy regarding Ashagwa continued their onslaught against ODM leader Raila Odinga, arguing that he has no authority to oversight government activities at this time. Speaking in Kericho, where he attended a Thanksgiving church service, the head of state accused Odinga of, and retired President Uhuru Kenyatta of running down the economy and bringing the country to its knees. And as Laura Otieno reports, issues around the mechanization of tea farming also took center stage with local leaders calling for intervention to regulate the deployment of technology. This story was produced by Gatete Njoroge. President William Ruto flanked by his deputy Rigavi Gashagwa and a host of local leaders allied to Kenya Kwanzaa today made their way to the Kericho Green Stadium for a Thanksgiving church service. Their visit coming amidst an intensified campaign by Azimio leader Raila Odinga to have Ruto fulfill his campaign pledges. The president and his deputy accusing Odinga of what he termed as pretense in his attempt to keep the current regime in check, arguing that his government is working to undo the misrule of the president Kenyatta regime. Wale ambao tulishindana na wao Mimi nataka ni waambie Watulize boli Mambo bado Ujumi ilikuwa imesambaratika Tukona madeni kutoka hapa Mpaka sijui wapi We cannot clean the mess The economic mismanagement of five years in 30 days what we are doing right now is cleaning their mess. And they cannot oversight us to clean their mess because they were part of the mess. The two, however, exuded confidence in implementing the development agenda as captured in their manifesto, including addressing the unemployment menace in the country. The head of state rallying the youth to register in circles and cooperatives to enable them benefit from the hustlers fund, which he said will be launched on the 1st of December. Talk of the mechanization of tea plucking that caused massive layoffs in the tea estates also came to the fore, with the president vowing to look into the matter to revitalize tea farming in the country. Tayari to meanza safari ya ku create a common user facility ya ku saidia chai yetu ifanyiwe value addition ndio tuweze kupata thamana zaidi ile value iende juu we create value in our products and we also create jobs for our young people. The president also assured Kenyans of inclusive development, adding that no region will be discriminated in implementing government projects to ensure holistic growth of the economy. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.